You can carry out arithmetic operations in MATLAB by using the arithmetic operators, the plus sign for add, the minus sign for subtract, the asterisk for multiply, and the caret for power. If you've ever used a scientific calculator, these operators should look familiar. Let's run a simple command to add the numbers 10 and 2 together. In your command window, please type out 10 plus 2. When you hit the enter key, MATLAB will evaluate this expression and print out the answer 12. Notice that when we ran this command, MATLAB returned the resulting value in the variable ANS, ANS, short for answer. MATLAB will use the ANS variable whenever a command is run that produces an output, and that output is not explicitly assigned to a variable. For example, if I run a second command, let's say 20 plus 5, notice that the value for ANS has now been updated to 25. Be very careful with this, the variable ANS could be overwritten at any time without any warning. For this reason, you should never use this variable in your code. Instead, make it a habit to assign the output of your calculations to a named variable. For example, result equals 20 plus 5. That way, if you run another command, MATLAB does not accidentally overwrite that variable. You can use variables to store intermediate values or input values for your calculations. For example, let's calculate the area of a rectangle with a height of 2 and a width of 3. We can declare a variable for the height height equals 2. And similarly, we can declare a variable for the width, width equals 3. We can now use these variables to compute the area, which is height times width, giving us a value of 6. An important concept to know here is operator presence. Presence determines which operators are evaluated first. In MATLAB, the power operator is evaluated first, followed by the multiplication and division operators, then addition and subtraction. For example, in the expression 5 plus 2 divided by 2, the division operation is evaluated first, 2 divided by 2 is 1, the next expression is then evaluated which is 5 plus 1 which equals to 6. You can control the order of operations by using parentheses. Expressions in parentheses are evaluated before the other operators. So for example, going back to our previous equation, if we add parentheses around the addition operation, the value for 5 plus 2 is evaluated first, then the division, which gives us a final result of 